With the help of two European networks, MPN Euronet and Hypoxianet, new collaborations were made possible between experts from many countries to write a review on the role of PAG2 mutations in the pathogenesis of a particular type of erythrocytosis, the secondary hereditary erythrocytosis. Each expert was in charge of a specific aspect of PAG2. An erythrocytosis shows, uh, is present when the red cell mass is greater than 125% of the predicted value. This is usually accompanied by an increase in the haemoglobin and hematocrit. There is a sensing pathway in cells, particularly in the renal cells, uh, where a number of proteins detect hypoxia um, and are broken down. A number of mutations in these proteins have been described. Included in this pathway is the PHD uh, proteins, in particular PHD2, on which this review focuses. Insightful discussions with Professor Frank Glee came to the conclusion that maybe proline hydroxylation, if it was aberrant, may be a mechanism to result in erythrocytosis. So we decided to start screening members of the proline hydroxylase family, PHD1, 2 and 3, and sequencing revealed a heterozygous mutation in two siblings and their father. Functional studies of this mutation confirm that it would be the cause of erythrocytosis in this family, as it would impair hydroxylation of HIF because it affected the function of PHD2. There are now a total of 37 mutations listed, some of which are associated with particular clinical phenomena like paraganglioma, um, thrombotic episodes, etc. In these patients, it is of note that the erythropoietin levels are normal or elevated, reflecting the secondary nature of the defects in the hypoxia sensing pathway. Professor Scofield and Dr. Chadri from the University of Oxford analyzed the clinical mutations in light of crystal structures of PAG2 with or without if substrate. The location of the identified mutations and their potential impact on the function is discussed in the review. In addition, a complete map of the residues involved in HIV binding is provided. Dr. Hugweis from the University of Zurich analyzed the conservation of PHD2 residues targeted in erythrocytosis. He demonstrates that the mutations do not always impact fully conserved residues. Furthermore, mutations are not restricted to the C-terminal catalytic domain. Subsequently, Professor Lee uh, recapitulated the human mutation using a mouse model. In this mouse model, uh, the, the original PHD2 mutation was knocked in by recombinating, and careful examination of the mice revealed a very subtle phenotype, and so this successfully recapitulated the human situation. This review also summarizes all functional investigations performed on the PHD2 mutations and compares the assays on the results obtained in the different studies.